What's up guys, Nitro Freak here, back with another video. You know, I'm going to talk about some things today because I have to get them off my chest. You know, Giants fans talk a lot of shit about the Philadelphia Eagles. Like a lot of shit. I, I'm Quite frankly, I don't get it. You know, I know we haven't won a Super Bowl. And that's history, whatever. But the fact of the matter is, is that you have video makers like Bad Dog that would rather talk shit about the Philadelphia Eagles than support and talk about his own team. You know what I'm saying? All he does consistently, if you look at his channel, he deleted most of his videos because he, he's fucking pussy and it has, it, it's all about work these days. And you know, he could come back and make a video about me. I don't really care. It doesn't matter. Me and him have a huge rivalry. But he makes videos about the Philadelphia Eagles, makes videos about EDP, makes videos about Eagle Speed, makes videos about me, makes videos only, it seems like, about the Philadelphia Eagles and their fans. You don't see a lot of giant stuff up there until the beginning of the year. And then he deletes his videos. Dude, let me let me just let me tell you something. If you're gonna talk shit about people, if you're gonna talk shit about the Philadelphia Eagles, if you're gonna talk sh shit about anything Philadelphia related, at least have the audacity to keep your fucking videos up and stop being a little pussy. Like honestly, I it just it, it, dude, it comes to the point where it's just sickening. It's sickening. Because you you talk shit about our team consistently. We haven't won anything, right? So why do you have to why do you have to keep saying we haven't won a Super Bowl? You know, it doesn't really matter that we haven't won a Super Bowl. You wanna know why we have fans? Do you really you want me to you want me to break the scoop to you why we have fans, like so many passionate fans around the country that travel to games, games after games after games, and we don't give up on our team? It's because we actually love and support our team. No matter what they do. They could suck. We could boo them. Sure. You want to know why we boo? It's called We Love This Team. Philadelphia, the city of Philadelphia. I go there two times a week. All right? The city of Philadelphia is so frustrated daily. We have a ton of blue-collar workers in the city. I go there so many times. And all I see is people dejected in the streets. Dejected everywhere. People living poor. In poverty. All they have are these sports teams. And when people talk about the wristbands being thrown at the Flyers game, you know what? I don't have a problem with it. I personally don't have a problem with it. People that say that we that people that did that make a Philadelphia look bad, no. It's frustration going out there because this city does not have anything. They we don't have anything. And the people trying to say that the people throwing stuff. Now, granted, all right, the, the fan that threw the bottle at Ryan Howard is a piece of shit. You don't do that to the athlete. If you want to throw something, a little piece of plastic across the arena, I don't care. Just don't make sure nobody gets hurt. All right. Now, I, I, I people want to use scapegoats all the time. You know, people saying that the wristband thing that they most of them weren't even at the game. Who says they wouldn't have done the same thing? Like, they're, they're stupid. They're morons. But going back to my thing about the Philadelphia Eagles thing, I don't know why why you keep talking shit about us. Your fans, dude, your fans suck. Your fans are some of the worst in the NFL. And I'm not talking about, oh, they'll bash people's heads in, they'll piss on them in the bathroom because they, they like the opposing team. No, your fans are boring. Like, they put me to sleep. The last time I was at MetLife Stadium was in 2011 when Vince Young started because Michael Vick was hurt. We were a seven and a half point underdog. I told my uncle, which I despise while watching uh, Giants games, I told my uncle, listen, I know we just lost to the Cardinals, but we're going to beat you guys. You want to know why? First of all, you guys can never beat us. Second of all, your, your fans fucking suck. They don't know how to cheer. The only time they cheered for you in that game was probably on third down at the end of the game. That's it. New Yorkers don't care about their sports. As a Yankee fan, I'll tell you this right now. I, I wasn't shocked in 2000, what was it, 2013, 2012, when the ALCS started and half the stadium was empty. I wasn't shocked. New York fans don't care about their sports. They don't. The best, uh, the best arena, and someone brought up in my um, Q&A video, what's your favorite area in the New York, uh, New, York New Jersey tri-state area? It's MSG. Because it has the most history out of all of them. And it's fun to be at. I'll be there for UFC in November. And it's probably going to be packed. 
But New Yorkers don't pay attention to their sports teams. They don't. My friend is a diehard Ranger fan. All right? But he's from this area. He works his ass off. He works his ass off night and day. He gets up at 2 o'clock in the morning to go to a four-hour shift. Goes all the way to uh, 12 o'clock. Can't even watch the sports teams. Diehard fan. He doesn't, he doesn't bitch. He doesn't moan. He gets upset when his teams lose. Fuck. We were at fucking Belmar the other day watching the, um, the Yankee game. When they gave up almost six, when they gave up six runs in the seventh inning, he was so pissed off. That's a fan right there. Giants fans are the prime example of pussy ass fans that do not support their teams, and when they do, they're a bunch of bandwagoners. So you want to keep talking shit about the Philadelphia Eagles and how we do not, we don't have titles? Fine, go for it. No one's gonna respond to you because you you sound like a fucking idiot. We know we don't have titles. But we have the best fans in all sports, and I wouldn't trade that for anything. And when we finally do have that fucking title, it's going to be a party like no other. No other than that you've ever seen. And it's the truth. You can say, you can make a response to me all you want. It doesn't matter because I'm right and you're wrong. Your fans are scum. They're worthless. They're boring. That stadium is shit. I haven't been back there since. Because it's been boring. It's, it's, it's like being there. All right, you're sitting next to the. I, I still remember the one guy I was sitting next to. He was actually fun, you know, but he was like, "Yeah, these fans don't care. They're here to watch the game, probably talk. They don't give a shit. It's a bunch of it's a bunch of business people. They don't care. The tickets are fucking outrageous as it is. It's like, uh, it's like it, it's an abomination. How." The best fans, like Philadelphia fans, can't have good things, and scum, fa scum fans like Giants fans can. It's pathetic. We come out there, we tailgate our asses off. We go in there, we're loud. Win or lose, we're loud. Like I said, my first game ever was versus Washington on New Year's Day in 2006, when Sean Taylor, rest in peace, ret uh, returned the fumble recovery from Coy Detmer to seal the game. That was my first game ever. Guess what? The stadium was sold out and we sucked. So you're just, dude, if you're going to talk about the Philadelphia Eagles, don't bring up Super Bowls because you're just, you just sound stupid, dude. We own you guys. We own you guys in your stadium. We own you guys in our stadium. I'm not scared of you guys. Fuck, we can win two games this year. And guess what? Two of them will be against you guys. I'm not scared of you guys. So if you're going to talk about the Philadelphia Eagles, please not... Please don't sound like a jackass. Because honestly, your fans are some of the worst in sports. Easily. And I'm not, like, I'm, like I said before, I'm not saying that the worst in sports, like, throwing stuff at people. But they're the worst in sports, fan-wise, supporting the teams. Because they don't give a shit. They don't care. So, until next time, guys, I'm out. Um, sorry I haven't made a video in a while. I've been really busy. But that's all I got to say. Uh, New York fans suck. Philly fans are the best. And let's keep rocking, Philly. Peace, guys. I'm out. Bye.